This meeting is being recorded. Hi, everybody. Angela Pattison, and I am just going to be sharing a, for, for those that are new who just gotten started in Plexus, or maybe you just are really going for that first rank of hitting silver. Um, or maybe you just have felt like stuck and you um, want to get going again and, and be built up in your belief and in your faith and um, you have goals and things that you're going for. So I just wanted to get on here and share with y'all. I'm going to share some practical things as well as some just some truths and things that have to do with our mindset. Um, and I've got some notes here, so I might be looking down some at some of my notes but first of all, if you are here right now, if you're here watching live or if you're here watching on the replay, you're here because you are wanting to move and grow your business because you are doing something for yourself or your family or for others. There's some kind of a uh, inspiration or thing that you have in your heart that you are believing for breakthrough. Maybe you're just really wanting to have maybe the, the bonus is going to be a blessing to you to help you with gas or with groceries or um, you know, whatever it is, Christmas coming up, maybe you really have goals to hit a certain amount of income to bless your family or to bless others, or maybe you really want financial freedom and you're all in. I want you to really think about your why. I want you to take time either uh, like at some point, of course, after this um, to write down what is the reason you are wanting to do this? How do you want to impact and help those around you? How could this bless your family when you are doing well? Uh, of course, some people just have the heart to want to help everybody. You just really want, want that to be um, your motivation. And that is so amazing. And that is great. But also there might be um, financial needs. Maybe you are really struggling and you've been praying and asking God for answers. Um Maybe, um, you know, $500 a month would be such an impact and a blessing to your life. Maybe $5,000. What about $50,000? Can you imagine that? <laughs> there are people in this business that are in that place financially where they're making what brain surgeons make by blessing and helping and giving and serving people well. And we can impact the kingdom with this kind of a, a financial blessing. And I'm going to say something before I go into some of my notes. I had struggled with some poverty mindset thinking. I had struggled with that. And as a missionary minded person, a person who wants to just do things for the kingdom, I'm a worship leader. I'm a youth leader. I've been in ministry since I was four years old. Y'all, I was praying that I wanted to be a missionary to impact lives around me. I don't know why it's making me emotional, but y'all, that was my dream in my heart. And I've had times where I have felt like, um, I don't know if I can go for financial freedom or go for the top of a company. You know why I thought that way? Because I had this limitation in my mind. I didn't want to be just worldly minded. I want to do things for the kingdom. I want to, I'm not, I'm not one of those that thinks, oh, the American dream, just for the sake of the American dream. I want the kingdom dream. And I don't know if anybody watching this can relate, but I want to impact lives around me for the good. I want to share the gospel to people. I want to be able to give abundantly, extravagantly and do all that Jesus has called me to. And I want you to have that same dream in your heart because that is your purpose in this life. But but what I had thought was I limited thinking that it was only for people who just are greedy or only for people who just do this. But I didn't see that. No, we can affect and move the kingdom so much more when we have resources and abundance that we can walk in to give. And yes, we have to stay humble. We want to stay pure in our motives and in our heart. And if we're seeking and pursuing after the Lord, he's going to help us to do that. He wants to fund through us, through our hands. The, the you know wealth to be able to impact nations and i want to just uh, just uh, challenge you to shift your perspective because for me i had not had that perspective at first like i said and I think I was limiting what God could do through me. And the Lord even recently, y'all, has shifted my thinking. I was at a retreat and the Lord showed me that I still was thinking that way. I was minimizing what God could do through me to move resources to help fund. What if I can give to so many missionaries? What if I can give to help adoption happen for people? What if I can give to help people, right, who, who are doing this ministry or even myself? There's so many people in the body of Christ that are broke. 
and that are sick and tired and that are frustrated and they, they need answers. They're praying for answers. And we have something in our hands that can do that. So anyway, jumping ahead, um, that has got to be where you start to realize there is something that you have on your hands here that is gold. Do you believe that? Do you believe that you can impact the kingdom around you with offering solutions for things they've been praying for and not just with their health, but with financial freedom and blessing. So now I believe in that the Lord has begun to change my mindset and I'm going to hit the top of the company in this rank because I want to have more impact and more reach for his kingdom. I want to be able to affect and help everybody around me. And I do believe this is an opportunity for everyone. And I want to tell you that your belief will determine your actions. So that's my step one point. I want you to think about your dreams. I want you to dream big. I want you to believe big. I want you to write down all the things, even if you want a cabin in the mountains or you want a beach house, or you want to be able to give extravagantly to a missionary family, whatever it is you want to adopt, you want to help someone else adopt. You want to be able to get your husband to be able to come home from his job, right? You want to just be able to get groceries, whatever your dreams are. I want you to write it all down. There's nothing too big. Write it all down. Ask Holy Spirit to lead you in writing down the vision. Okay, that is number one. Number two is that you've got to, again, shift your perspective and your mindset. What does the Lord have for me in this? How many people, Lord, do you want me to impact? Who do you have to bring into me and start believing for that? Belief is everything. Your mindset and your belief is 80% of success in this business. It's only 20% skill and 80% mindset. So let me just say this, whatever you think and believe, right? That's what you can do and achieve. I know we've probably heard that before. As you think in your mind, so you will believe and you'll become, right? No matter what you're thinking or believing for, that that will affect your actions. If you are believing, and I want you to think about this. If you're believing, nobody wants to follow me. No one wants to come and do this with me. Nobody's going to think that I'm really caring about them. They think I'm salesy. I'm spamming them. I'm bugging them. I'm bothering them. If you're thinking that, that's how it's going to come across for one. And it's going to stop your action of reaching out, right? If you're believing, I have people that I can impact. I am going to be a blessing for people around me. The Lord is bringing in my people at the right time. The Lord is using me to impact and change lives. And if you're believing that, Oh, believe me, you're going to be influencing people around you and God is going to bring you people and you are going to have action. If you truly believe this is a blessing to people, these products are going to help change lives and they're going to feel so good. Everyone needs this. Everyone needs this opportunity. There's people crying out and praying for answers and I have gold in my hands. Let me tell you now that if you believe that, you will share with everyone with confidence. You won't care what they think of you, which is a big reason some people do not do well because they're so concerned. I'm speaking from experience. I was one of these people that struggled with opinions of man for a long time and in other businesses that affected me. And I've gotten to where I'm like, Lord, help me to be more focused on that person who needs this. They may not even realize it yet. Let me be focused on their needs, their um, success, how this could be a blessing to their family, even if they don't see it yet. If I'm thinking of them more than I'm thinking of what they think of me, this is going to change everything for your business. So I want to encourage you and challenge you to get before the Lord and ask Holy Spirit to show you if there's fears that are not from him. Right. If there's any beliefs that you have that are um, a wrong mindset perspective of yourself, because I'm going to tell you this, that if I can do this, you can do this. There's nothing different about me than you with we all we all have been made right to be able to do great things through the Lord, through belief and mindset and determination. And I mean, I'm a homeschool Uh, my homeschool my whole life until I went to college, didn't finish college. I had dyslexia growing up. I struggled with reading, thinking that I was dumb, thinking that I couldn't do stuff. Now, what I did have going for me was that I was a champion in karate and athletics and my father and my coach really did speak belief into me. So I had a feeling of achievement and belief that that, you know, helped me. 
But where I struggled was mindset stuff was like even with academics and things like that, as I was struggle with reading and um, the Lord did help me through that. But y'all there was that was just it. I just someone believed in me. I began to see some achievement from that. And then I started to believe in me. And then I continued that. And then that has happened more and more as I've allowed the Lord to help me in that. So I just want to encourage you with that. Your thoughts will determine your belief which will determine your actions every single time. I'm going to say it again. Your thoughts will determine your belief and that will determine your actions. So you have got to allow your thoughts to change. And the good news is, is that if you don't have belief in yourself or in this product or in this opportunity, that can change. You can build that belief. And honestly, the biggest thing I think people struggle with is belief in themselves. So again, I'm going to ask you to ponder this and you don't have to write it in the chat. You can write it in your own notes if you want. But do you believe that you can do this? Do you see yourself? I mean, I want you to close your eyes right now. And I want you to picture yourself as a diamond on the stage right now that you have achieved the goal of or or whatever the goal is you're going for i want to see you see yourself there and what would you say to yourself now as that position what would you say to yourself would you say keep going you're gonna do this or would you say oh you can't do this of course you wouldn't right you're gonna look at yourself and you're gonna encourage You can do this. I want you to see yourself there now. I want you to see all that the Lord has got for you and for your life. And I want you to know that it is possible and you can achieve it. And so belief in yourself is huge. Number two would be belief in the products. And if you don't have belief in the products enough, you need to go get in gut health and happiness. You need to go listen to testimonies, read testimonies, and build your belief in what this is doing to help other people. If you don't believe in the industry, network marketing, y'all, this is like the best industry that there is. We are able to help our families and put money back in the pockets of of families rather than just big corporate, right? Going wherever. And actually a lot of it, a lot of times the money is going to not good things. We get to be able to help our families while helping people feel their best. And this is the best industry. If you don't agree or if that's a struggle, please write, make note of that and get back to me. We'll give you some resources on any three of these areas. Belief in yourself, belief in the product, belief in the company. We'll give you the resources to help you with that Um, because there is a way to build your belief up. That's the good news. (laughs) But y'all, you've got to believe you've got to change your thoughts. And you get because that this is literally 80 percent of this is belief and mindset. Um, okay. Belief in self. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything in my notes. Okay. So, and I want to say this, whether you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. That was the last point about the belief, whether you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. So just put that in. I mean, get that in your mind, your forefront of your mind that if I'm feeling like I can't do something, wow, it's going to impact my results. So how can I change this? What Lord, what are you telling me? And if the Lord has given you this opportunity and shown you, and if you're on this, by the way, you probably are feeling something in your heart to go for. You're either going for help with a little bit on the side, or you're going for helping other people, or you're going for I'm all in, whatever it takes, whatever it looks like. And that means that the Lord has prompted you. And when the Lord begins to do that, he's going to finish the work, but we do have that choice. So make the decision right now that you are going to lay down your fears, your worries, your doubts, your frustrations, and you're going to allow the Lord to help equip you along with the hard work. So let me tell you that you can do this, but it does take some work. It's simple, but it takes some work. And now I'm going to move on a little bit to some practical things, y'all. So of course, like I said, this is 80% mindset and 20% skill. The skill can also be learned. Okay. Recruiting is a skill. We have so many tools, which I can give to y'all later. We have so many tools that can help you with the skill of recruiting. And that is what it's going to take to get to that first level. Really that first level of silver is just mainly recruiting. Um, You are going to begin to, after that first level, build a team and 
um, duplication starts to happen and we can get into that on another video, leadership and duplication and retention. Um, but you really can do this. I want to encourage you to make a list. So this is practical stuff. Make a list of your friends, your family, people that you have come to your mind that are struggling. They're struggling financially. They're struggling um, physically. They would be amazing at this. Somebody that you can think there's fruit in their life. They have an amazing family. They're amazing mama, amazing, um, you know, whatever, the ministry that they do. They have a heart for people. Um, their marriage is awesome. Like there's fruit in their life somewhere. And those are people that you might want to partner with. This person, you know, they're amazing on social media. They have a following. They don't have to have a following though. They could just be someone that, you know, they love people well. And that's what this business is. We love people well. We want to serve and bless people. We have got answers and hope and things to offer to people to give them to meet a need. Basically, we're helping meet needs. And so if we have that mindset, if we're helping everybody meet their meeting their needs and we've got the people down that we want to reach out to, I'm telling you, you're going to be on your way well beyond silver and the rank that you're going for. Um, I reached out to some friends. I will tell you this. When I very first got started, a few people asked me what I was doing out of just conversation, saying how I had been struggling with you know, achy joints and um, acid reflux. And I was talking about what was going on and that I finally tried something to help me to get to the root issues. I didn't really say much more than that. And this was in person. And the person said to me, tell me more. Where'd you get this? Tell me more about it. And I wasn't even trying y'all to do anything. I said, well, you know what? And this is the thing, y'all. I was not the expert. That is the best position to be in. You do not need to be the expert. One of the fears people have getting into this is thinking, I don't know what I'm saying yet. I don't know what to do. I feel like, oh my gosh, I don't know everything. That's okay. In fact, it can be better sometimes because you've got tools that you can use. So what I said was, you know what? I just started this. I'm not really sure yet what all it's going to do, but there's incredible testimonies that I've been reading and my friend has gotten amazing results. I want to share this video with you. Is that okay? And that's what I did, not even realizing I was recruiting at all. I was just sharing. And so I shared that with my mother-in-law and my friend down the road. And um, next thing you know, they're like, they watched the video. I showed them a few testimonies that related to what they told me they were going through. And then they wanted more information. They wanted to get started. And I had to reach out to my friend who I'm doing this with. And I said, um, you know, I've got somebody interested in how do I do this, you know, and then I would send them a message and go, my friend said this, what would you say? So utilize the tools we have. We have got, you know, the weekly um, online meetings that are on Facebook that you can plug people into. We've got um, videos already recorded. You can send to those people and you can utilize third party validation. Whoever you're doing this under or with, we could get on a phone call. Sometimes it's necessary for people to get on the phone or in a message chat to help them possibly with the next step, even before they've started. I have utilized those tools and that help around me. And I want to encourage y'all to do the same. So write your list out. You might want to print out your Facebook list. Or think about people at church or people around you in your community that you think this could be a blessing to them. And then I want you to reach out and we're going to be given some scripts. I'll do that in a separate way. But you, you know, you want to reach out to those people. Don't be afraid to reach out to people. I had somebody recently that I reached out to and I said to her, um, you know, when I thought about you, I didn't know, you know, what, if you've seen that I'm doing something um, new since the last time I had talked to her, I said, but these products have changed everything in my health and I'm feeling amazing. And I would love to share if you're open to checking it out. And she said, sure, I'd love to check it out. Send me information. So I invited her into our Thursday group on Facebook and to check out a video. Then I followed back up. Follow up, y'all. Follow up. You've got to follow up. Write their names down if you need to. And then go back and follow up with those people after a few days. Or if it's the if there's a video that night that they watched, you could follow up with them that night afterwards and say, how did you relate to the video? Tell me what you thought. And you can also wait a couple of days. So I followed back up with her and she was interested. 
Then I tagged her in the next video the next week. She watched it. She came back. She asked me a few questions. I answered it. She wanted to get on the phone with me and she signed up. She was ready. And this just happened this last week. And so I want to encourage you, do not be afraid of sharing because you have got gold on your hands. That's going to be a blessing to them. You've got to be willing to do that. Share somehow. Now you can share on social media which is a great way to share, but you just want to make sure how you do it. And I know I have another video I can give to you, by the way, more tips on exactly how to share the best with social media stuff. Um, but you want to not be spammy or salesy. You just want to share stories. You could even as you're, you're first starting out, say, I'm so excited about these products that I started. Finally, something I found that gets to root issues. And it's helped so many of my friends. And I'm excited to share with others if you've been praying for answers and have a picture holding the pink drink or holding your capsules or whatever. And that's the kind of thing you could share at first. And you'll be surprised how many people want to say, tell me more. What are you doing? And then you go back at a private message and you tell them more, right? And you, and I always start out with asking people, what are your health goals? What is it your, um, are there, are there any concerns or struggles you have? If they come back and say, no, I'm good. I'm fine. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> right. Sometimes people say that I'll say, okay, well, are you on any medications or prescriptions that you're on or anything? And you'll be surprised the amount of people that will come back with 10 medications they're on. They think it's normal. They actually don't realize that's not normal. That doesn't have to be their normal. And if they come back and say, and I might even send them the picture that we have of showing the symptoms of candida or leaky gut. And they'll, and I'll say, do you have anything on this list? Is there any medications you're on? And that gets them to realize they really do have something going on. Um, because a lot of times people will just say, oh, I'm just bloated or I'm just overweight, but I really don't have anything else going on. And I want them to recognize there's this pattern here. There's symptoms happening in your body. Your body's telling you something, right? And then you have a solution for them. I'm going to tell you something. I just started with this. You could say this. I just started with this, but my friend's been doing it a little bit longer. And I'd love for you to hear her journey. She just did a video on this live. Would you like to see it? And that's how you could share. Or you could even get them in a chat. Say, you know what, my friend's been doing this a little bit longer, and I know this is going to help you exactly what you're going through. And I'm going to open up a chat so that she can kind of help explain it a little bit more. You know, that, that those are kind of tools you can use to help people. But let me just say the first step is definitely reaching out. One out of 10 people will respond to you when you reach out in a message. One out of 10 people. This is the average. Now, some people, you'll have more than that that will answer you. But it is normal to sometimes take time for somebody to answer you back. It might take 10 to 15 follow ups or exposures before the person's ready. And that is just because it's their belief. They need to have their belief built up. Some people come in and their belief is already higher because maybe they've been seeing other testimonies out there, someone posted about a lot or a long time ago, they heard about Plexus. They never tried it. They never got in with anybody, but they heard about it. And then when you come along, it's just right where they need and they're ready. OK, then there's other people who it takes. It takes them longer to get to that place because a lot of times people are skeptical. They don't understand what this can do, you know, and they've seen other things and they don't, they think they know everything. Right. And so we just need to lovingly um, encourage them and build their belief. Um, the other thing I wanted to go over was so, so yeah, posting on social media is a huge way that you can get people in your stories. You need to post in your stories. Again, I have a how to video that I'll send to you if you need that. And I'll link it below this in, in YouTube. Um, but with, um, Oh, in person, in person, you can share with people. Of course, you can text people. You can just reach out and message them. You can do events, plug them into some events. This is another very, very good way to get people around the culture of what our team has to offer. And, and that event could be a Zoom, could be the Thursday video that we do, or it could be in person. So those are the ways to get the people interested, I'm telling you. And then don't be afraid to ask them for the sell. Don't be afraid to close the deal. You've got to be confident. And I know that that's something some people struggle with. But I'll go back into a person and say, what do you think? And if they're like, oh, man, it looks amazing. I'm like, awesome. Tell me. And I'll say this. How could this help you? How could this bless you? Tell me what you're excited about this doing for you. And word it like that. 
Make them realize the connection that what this can do for them. And that could be finances too. And um, you also want to add value um, and encourage them in who they are by telling them what you see in them, that how this could be something that they could do with you as far as the opportunity side. I would say you want to um, cast vision is what we like to call it. I will message them and I'll pull out whatever I see. You know what? You're such a great mama. I've seen how hard you work. I've seen your determination and that you love the Lord and whatever it is about the person that I believe. And I know you're the person that I'd love to do this with. Have you considered something like this before? You know, and, and start that conversation. That's ways to pull people in and it's going to take time, but you can do this. So I just wanted to encourage y'all in that. Um, these are ways to recruit, but when I come back and follow up with them after they like it, they've seen it, whatever, right? I come back and I say, you know what? There's some amazing deals right now. I've got a discount code and I've got some deals and stuff going on. Are you open to taking a look at what the deals are? Because I really cannot wait for you to feel your best. I'm so excited to help you feel your best. I say something like that, like, because it's really about them. Make it about them. You're not slimy, salesy, spammy when you're making it about them. I am so excited for you to get your results. Are you ready to get started? I've done this many times and I'm telling you, they'll either say yes or no, <laughs> right? If they say no, it's not a big deal. It's not the right timing. By the way, when they say no, that's what it means. No means not right now. It doesn't mean no forever. So you can like just build relationship with them, get to know them, connect with them. And um, but I've had people say no to me. And then after building and, and relationship and posting stuff about stories, especially stories that I know relate to them. Next thing you know, they messaged me back and said, you know what? I actually am ready to get started. I want to do this now. And so I want to encourage you in that. Do not give up. Do not give up. You can do this. We have tools to help you with videos. We have tools to help you with even exact scripts, voice clips, or writing out a script, reaching out to cold market. We've got the tools for all this, and I can help you give that to you if that's what you're looking for help with. But that's all it is. It's belief in yourself. Write down those names. Begin to reach out. If you're not reaching out to people, don't expect them to flood into you just from a post unless you have really high influence. If you've got high influence in social media, then a post could possibly bring in a lot of people. Or if you're really good at building curiosity, people are going to want to know what you got, right? <laughs> but if you're, and it's okay if you don't have that yet, because you can build that up too. I will say that I had built up my social media because I've added a lot of value, videos of worship, videos of praying for people, things like that where people, you know, have gotten to know me and know my heart and they would follow me. And when I made a post, I did get a lot of people wanting stuff, but I still reach out to people anyway. I have a lot of people that reach out, but then I'll have times where nobody says anything. I don't get much on posts and sometimes it's algorithms on Facebook. That's okay. I reach out to people and I know what I got on my hands is going to bless them. So I just want to wrap this up by encouraging you one last time. You've got to know what you've got on your hands. You have to believe in yourself. You absolutely can do this. You 100% can do this. And you, no matter what your personality is, no matter how you are with, if you're shy or not, no matter what color you are, no matter what, um, if you're older or if you're younger, okay, what background you came from, you can do this. You absolutely can do this. You can earn the bonuses. You can earn the prizes. You can go to the top, but it's going to take time sometimes to begin to build belief if that's what you don't, if you're, if you struggle with that. Um, and if you don't, then you probably get already on your way there. Um, so you can do this and we can equip you and help you with all those tools. I hope this was a blessing and this helped you. And I'm excited to see you and celebrate you as you begin to go through not just ranking up, but impacting lives around you, making a difference, seeing transformation. You are going to be so excited. The more transformations you see, and I can tell you that from the experience, I've now been doing this a year and a half. I'm an emerald and I have no doubt in my mind that this could bless anybody who gets started, who listens, who's coachable, who does these products and the business. I have no doubt that everyone can do this. 
And that is what I want you to come to that place of believing because you can. So thanks for your time. And um, yeah, reach out for sure if you have any questions about anything that I said. All right, let me...